ain't saying just, just brothers. I ain't saying just men. Our series, the idea of our series has been say me too. Me too. Now we took a little break because you know you gotta take time to honor the brothers. You know what I mean? You gotta take two time to honor the brothers. So we're gonna take time to stop parking there to honor the brothers. And because we had already talked about a couple other issues already, I didn't want to just continue the same issue of the idea of just sexual abuse. But we also got to deal with all the other kinds of abuse that go along with this issue. Because sometimes the challenge that are our neighbors in our lifetime, and even in our culture, and even in our community, it's not just that people being violated sexually. And even though it is happening, based on what the Me Too movement said, something like 17,700,000 people have been sexually abused since 1998. Yeah. Say, Lord help us. Lord help us. Yeah, Lord help us. Lord help us. That's only from 1998. That didn't even go way back before then. But, but we can't be present and be silent in the midst of this part and the idea of our life and that. Because anytime we become silent, we actually are in agreement. We in agreement. So we had the water cool and they talk about it. You don't say nothing, you in agreement, whatever the last comment was. Amen. If you're in the locker room and they talk about chicks and you don't say nothing, then you in agreement, whatever they say, because you can say anything at that moment. Amen. If you're in the beauty salon and you got to call the names for another woman and you hear the call another woman woman names, we are not even doing any justice because God probably got you there to reveal truth in the midst of darkness. Amen, Pastor David. Anyway, so, 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 so I can't be silent because silence is agreement, it's a lie, and the idea of those things. Then it's also understanding very clearly that when it comes to the idea of the sexual abuse, many times it's an issue of a couple of things. One of them is the issue of a wrong idea of who we are, sometimes as men. Sometimes it's my insecurity of who I am that makes me do what I do to you. And then I hate myself, so I hurt you because I'm scared. I want to hurt myself. And our insecurity ends up taking over. Then our inequality, then sometimes it's a misogynist mentality of just men putting down women for no reason at all and being able to try to prove your power by your strength because you might not have the intellect or communication skills or the emotions. Come on, don't break shot down. If we need to give more young men a lot more skills vo 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 vocally, what they'll be able to do is conserve their emotions to be able to handle it. So instead of saying I'm angry all the time, I might say I was really hurt. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. 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 You know what? You know what, Dad? I was disappointed. Uh -huh. yeah. Good. You know what? That, that really wounded my spirit when, yeah. you, when you told me who I would call me that name. Yeah. Uh -huh. See, then I don't have to use anger for every answer. Yes. Yeah. Right. And, so, and so some things we've got to be able to hear practical things along with the spiritual things to help people mature and grow in the kingdom. So if I say amen and have. So even the idea is we too talk about giving intimate empathy for everybody and that kind of stuff. But I think empathy without giving people accountability is wrong. Yeah. You can feel bad for me, but do something after you feel. Uh, amen. Come on, you do. You know, somebody say, are you alright? You go, yeah. I know you ain't all right, but I, but if I just walk away, I, I, I had empathy for a moment, but I didn't take responsibility for what you felt. And so even in our relationship, I still got to take responsibility for my part and walk in accountability. And so even as society is doing this process and that, we got to walk out our suit. Say, take your, take your suit. Take your suit. I got to take our suit, be able to walk it out. We're talking about sexual assault, it's any sexual contact with someone without his or her consent. No matter which way it is or how it is, that's what it is. Say amen. Amen. Now today, today we're going to talk this other part. Uh, God in the church has a voice part three. Uh, here's, our, here's our title. Help me out, Bert. Uh, our title is Girl, it's time to get your inheritance. Amen. Come on, yeah. All right, I want you to say that with me since Come you know it ain't one more time. Girl, Girl. it's time. It's time. You get your own inheritance. You get your own inheritance. I know that's it. Yeah, I know that's kind of like challenge, but part of the idea of abuse it is not just physical and sexual abuse, but sometimes it's emotional abuse. Yeah. Come on, you know what? I know I know what you need, but if I can hold what you need, I'm emotionally abusing you. Yeah. Come on now. now. Not only that, but then sometimes it's a financial abuse. Yeah. Come on. I know we got an issue. I know we got a problem. We might even have an emergency, but you ain't getting no money from me. Yeah. And even when I know you're struggling and hurting, that you might need me in this moment, but I'm going to keep my checkbook to myself. Come on. Okay, Pastor, you don't preach like that because that's going to bother people. All right, all right. Okay, maybe I am. Maybe I am. All right. But, but see, that's the mindset that we really got to be able to deal with the issue because sometimes. We manipulate each other financially just as bad as we do sexually, just as bad as we do emotionally, just as bad as we do mentally. We abuse one another. I could bless you, but I'm not. Yeah. I would do this, but 
because you ain't did nothing for me. I don't know when the last time that your, man, your, your measurement for blessing somebody else was yourself. Let's go, Pastor Dave, anyhow. Yeah. Sometimes the issue is an economic gender wage gap. That's abusive and throughout our whole country deal with that issue. That the nation is the ideal that is dealing with this because inheritance means something bequeathed to you, distributed to you, divided to you, given to you, left for you as possession from one person to another person, permanent possession, like a gift from God. And in the biblical culture, they never left anything to a daughter. They only left it because in their culture, women was almost less than animals. Come on. They, they, and so back then, their mentality was so bad that that's why they would trade a woman and use a woman and abuse a woman and then turn around to somebody else and all that kind of stuff. And some of that mindset over pattern of time can creep into other, other places. And unfortunately, unless we get a real perspective about who women are, then we'll have that same mindset. Value, not from our perspective, but from God's perspective, He blessed them. Yes. Right. Yes. He didn't just bless a man, He blessed a right. woman. Right. And He said, Y'all be fruitful. Y'all replenish. Y'all subdue. Y'all have dominion in the earth. He's a matter of fact, not only that, but spiritually, who you are, He says, You're neither male nor female in Christ. That now, spiritually, your identity is set. So no matter what happens around you, you know who you are in Christ. Yes. Right. Somebody say, help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. So even in that picture, in the eye of this world, that patriotic mindset is they want to crush and held back women for a long time. And what's some of the challenges that go along with that is this, is that even today, there's still a challenge that they go with it even 2,000 and 2,500 years later, the same mindset still exists in our culture. The reason that I know, I was doing a reading on an economic study is this, it says this, women are almost half of the whole workforce. They are either sole or cold breadwinner in all of the families in America. They're either the sole or the breadwinner or a partner in half of the families of America. Amen. They have received more college, college degrees and graduate degrees than men, yet on average, women continue to earn less considerably than men. The last study in 2016 says a female full-time year-round makes 80% of the dollar every man makes. I'm going to step back in your hat. I'm going to step back in your hat. Tell you, you know you're pretty good, but everybody get quiet. We'll get you mad. But anyway, all right. So, 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 so still in this, in this gender gap from the IWPR, which is the IDO, the Institute of the Women Policy and Research, they track the gender gap in the IDO time. And according to their research, for a change to really continue as slow as it has been doing for the last 50 years, listen to this, that it will take 41 more years for women to catch up with men financially. Now, here's the challenge. It means it will take something like 2059. And then for women of color, the rate is even slower. And for Hispanic women, it will, wait, it will not even happen until 2233. And with black women, it will come not till 2124. Not only that, but in the last month, our, the Republicans actually voted down the equal pay. They voted it down. Say, so, excuse me. Girl, it's time you go ahead and get your inheritance. You better stop waiting for somebody else to get you what you're supposed to get. You got to get the dignity, you got to get the wisdom, you got the spirit of God, the mind of God, the heart of God, the voice of God, the word of God, the power of God. You got the mind of God. And you can't be waiting for some man to show up and give it to you when you already been given to me. When you already got the spirit of God. So in that mindset, sometimes you gotta stop waiting for Prince Charming and be a queen for yourself. Okay, Pastor Dave, you don't need to start no fights today, Pastor Dave. Let's not start no fights today, Pastor Dave. I'm not, I'm not. I'm the ideal of balance, the ideal. Get your own inheritance, girlfriend. And the ideal of inheritance means the ideal that we've already been given. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 11 says, in whom you also obtain an inheritance. We got it in Jesus. Yeah. You see, somebody has to die for you to get it. And last time I checked at the cross, mm, he already died, gave you an inheritance. You don't even know if you got it or not. And it's out of relationship that I get it. Come on. Yeah. Somebody say, he's helping me right here, right now. I don't want you to think that your father, when he had it and didn't have it, he might not be the one that funds the future of your life. God's grace, God's favor, God's mercy, God's anointing and gifts and talent and strength that he left in your life, put in your life, put in your heart. That vision, that book, that dream, whatever he put in your heart, that might be there. Matter of fact, Jesus says, God hides his inheritance in the saints. Oh my God. Hey, excuse me. If you ever find out what God put in your heart, Your own life. You could. You got to get your own inheritance. There's some stuff God has said, I gave you it. Matter of fact, over and over in Scripture.
he repeats it. He puts a woman in that. Right. Yes, yes. He hides some good stuff. Right. He will hide some good stuff. You know what I'm saying? He'll hide a nation in a man that ain't got no children. Oh Abraham. Right. Wait a minute. You held a whole 12 tribe nation in a man that was 99 years old and they had no children. Why did you hide a nation in a man with no children? Right. Well, where, where did you hide the gift for the church called Samuel and the gift in a woman they called Barak named Hannah? Why? Because I can hide what I want, but I hide it in my inheritance inside of the saints. But if the saints stop looking for the world and look for their self, and they get their hair out there on life. Bill Gates, where was Microsoft 15 years, 20, 30 years ago? In his self. But he learned how to get it out. They don't even know Jesus. Come on. Hey, watch this. Come on. Facebook, Zuckerberg. I'm mad at you now. You're making millions. Where'd it come from? Something. Well, I don't know if he got it from himself. But anyway, this is his But, 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 but some somewhere in somebody, they brought out an ideal of thought, something in their heart, something in their spirit, and it became their inheritance for their own life. Yes. Give me a favor. Tell your name, David. Yes. Yes. Get it up! Get it up! Get it up! Get your gift out. Get your talent out. Get your inheritance out. He said, I'll hide my inheritance in the saints. Somebody say, I'm hearing this. I'm hearing this. So the challenge of every council says, watch this. In Ephesians 1, he says, in whom you believe and will seal to the day of redemption to the earnest of your inheritance until the redemption of the first possession, which means the inheritance is in you till you see Jesus. Come on. Come on now. And so you got from now till you see Jesus to get your own inheritance out of your life. Come on now. I'm going to message you real quick now. I didn't know it, but I had an inheritance of a church in my chest. Yes, you did. Yes. Your job is to find yours and get yours out. Matter of fact, the Bible says in Ecclesiastes, kings, you can tell when you find a king because they search for treasure. Yeah. Yeah. And so I got to operate in the king mindset. I've got to function in that place where there's something in my life that God has put in my life that's supposed to handle my life, that's supposed to cover my life. Come on. Two people ain't mad. Come on and shout. So it becomes this challenge and the eyes that when we begin dealing with this thing. And for some of us, you know what the challenge is? Is that we won't get it because we won't serve. Yeah. Write this down. Colossians chapter 1, verse 12. This is how, matter of fact, sorry, Colossians chapter 3, verse 23 and 24. This is how it sounds. What serving you do? Do it heartily as unto the Lord, not unto men, knowing that the Lord shall you love the of the Lord. Say of the Lord. Of the Lord. Not your pastor. Not your pastor. Whatever you do, if you do it heartily unto the Lord, knowing that the Lord himself will reward you with your inheritance. Which means that's a part of your inheritance that can't be unlocked until you start serving somewhere. Yeah. But since you're too good to serve, come on, watch out. you can't even get your inheritance. Amen. Okay, okay, let me do it in a natural way. The reason Nehemiah could move an entire city because his inheritance is in his servants. Yeah. Nehemiah wasn't nothing but a boss boy, but he was turning around. He was a city controller next week. Why? Because I found my inheritance in my service. If you would just take a few minutes and put yourself down for a moment, serve somebody, they might see your gift, your talent, and your excellence and be like, you know what? Can I finance that? Yes. 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 To your neighbor. I'm getting help already. I'm getting help already. Look at the verse says, it says this, and they came to the daughters of Zephyr, and then they came to the idea of all of the other sons. Now watch this, I want you to watch this. It came to the son of Gilead, the son of Makar, the son of Manasseh, the families of Manasseh, the son of Joseph. These are the daughters of Manal, Noah, and all of them. Say order. Order. Now let me just say this real quick. Let me say this real quick. Girl, if you're going to get it. Girl, if you're going to get it. You got to get it right. Amen. If you're going to get the inheritance that God has for you, yes. even as a woman, even in the midst of this, this mindset and all these other issues around you, you got to do it the right way. Say, do it the right way. Do it the right way. The challenge of it is that it has to come in the eyes of a couple of things. She comes with a woman that is, has a right petition. Say a right petition. Right. It's, it's when you ask for something that you know you want, you know it's part of what you're supposed to have, but you don't know how you're going to have it. It, it could be called a prayer. It could be called an asking. It could be called a question. It means you are asking for something that you're believing that God, by God, you should have in your life and for your life. These chicks show up. They don't just show up as crazy sisters. They show up the one in order. Yeah. Yeah. They waited for all of these other brothers to get out of the way. Say, stop rushing your inheritance. Stop rushing. And while you're waiting, stay in order. Stay in order. I know the other brother got that. And I know the other brother got that. And I know the other sister got that. See, you keep your life in order and wait your turn. Your turn is coming. But if you miss it, you will access the inheritance that should have showed up out of the right 
petition. And part of the petition is keeping your life right till your sins show up. It helps me because it helps me the idea of making sure that they walk in honor, they walk in order, and then they get faithful. And what I said was they walk in honor, and then they get order, and then they get what? Faithful. Come on. Inheritance is the idea of what God has for your life that you can't even qualify in your life by your life. Mama. Matter of fact, it's something left from one generation, season, or kingdom left for you as a person. Yes. And the only way it gets released is three ways. Number one, it gets released when somebody passes. Yep. In other words, somebody got to die for you to get it. Yeah. So you don't kill nobody. Don't kill nobody. Don't kill nobody. Yeah. I say kill everybody. I told you wait, right? When wait in order and wait in honor. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> the other way you can get inheritance is by preference. Yes. Somebody just prefers you and they give you what you don't deserve outside of the season and timing which you thought. Excellent. Shut that up by oh, It's kind of somebody like Esther. She got a preference, come on. Because yeah. he had a petition because she showed up. She just showed up and the petition was, he said, I'll give you half my kingdom. What's your request? Mm. Why? Because she was in order. Yeah. Why? Because she was in honor. Yeah. So you just can't get some stuff by. Okay, say pray for him. Pray for him. You can't get some stuff by waving your finger. Uh. Moving your neck. Yeah. 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 Moving your eyes. You, you, matter of fact, you disqualify yourself from the inheritance yeah. by the flesh. Because the flesh will profit you. Oh, you are a good church. You're a good church. Yeah. So the longer you in your flesh, the longer you delay your own inheritance. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Hey, this ain't a tea sucking kind of thing. You ain't gonna get it. You can't be sucking your teeth, having an attitude, That's thinking right. you're gonna get out. With God. It don't happen that way. You may be cute, but if you ain't got character, it don't work. How you know, Pastor? How you know? Because they was in order, they had honor. How you know? Because they watched this. Walking in the words of their father, walking in the will of their father, walking in the ways of their father. He ain't even present, and he still got them operating in unity. They still in agreement. Can I help you with this? Your future gonna come when you hook up with some sisters that can hang out in order and hang out in honor. So you can't hang out with everybody and have grace on your life and favor on your life. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Say, girl, yeah. get your inheritance. Yeah. 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 The reason I know they didn't know her, look what they show up. They'll show up by JoJo and then the boo boo. <laughs> they come to their pastor. They come to their pastor, Ooh. they came to their priest, Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. they came to the leaders of the church, oh my God. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, oh. Then you wait for the dude, next dude to show up. Yeah. Trap boy, dope boy, and then say, praise God. Hey, 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 hey. See, they wanted some folk with some character to be able to give them a right future. It wasn't about who's going to be down with them, they were looking for some men to stand up with them. Some people that watched it that didn't need your body, but they was trying to give you your destiny. Matter of fact, they didn't want nothing of your flesh because they're too busy trying to get you your purpose. With a right petition, they stood before Moses, before Elias or the priest, before the princes and all the congregation. Go back, go back, go back, go back. He said, right there in the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. I mean, they showed up at church. Watch yourself. Some of our inheritance might be missed because. Praise God. You wait. He inhabits the praise not of online of his people. Pray for Pastor Day. Pray for me. Pray for me. I need help. I need help. Tell you the neighbor. Your inheritance will require you stand right in your relationship. Don't you get the most valuable thing in the earth is relationships. Yes. Oh my goodness. That's it. I don't, don't be fooled by the money. That's don't be fooled by the cars. Don't be fooled by the clothes. It's the relationship. If you got a relationship, you can get all that. Yeah. You can get all that if you got a relationship. Right. How these chicks was left in a season and a time 
but they want to respect them women, treat them women like dogs and all that, but they about to show up with an inheritance. Yes. Because they had a right relationship. Yes. Don't trade your culture for your father. Mm. Mm. Moving on. Praise the Lord. Say hallelujah somebody. They understood how to move beyond the marginalizers in their life. Beyond the haters in their life. Beyond the wrong thinkers and the girls went ahead and got their inheritance no matter what. They stayed in order, stayed in honor. They was able to walk it out. They refused to be in dishonor and disorder and yeah. disqualify themselves from yeah. their own inheritance. Don't you disqualify yourself from your own inheritance. Yeah. Say hallelujah, somebody. Yeah. Say stay in order. Yeah. I don't care how the world acts. You got to know how a kingdom woman acts. Yeah. She walks a little different. It ain't her hips, her lips, or her fingertips. Oh. It's her spirit. It's her spirit. But it will change. Praise God. And I gotta have something that won't change. And it gotta be your spirit that won't change. And we can lose all kinds of stuff. I lost all my hair. Shoot. But, but look, in the midst of me losing it, God got a spirit that can still learn how to love a woman and honor a woman and care for a woman. Man, if I lose my shoe, I can still learn how to love her. I can still care for her. your future. You need to find a few good brothers. I said a few good. I ain't say just, just brothers. I ain't say just men. I ain't just say male. I said find you some, some Moseses. Find you an Eliezer. Find you a couple people that act like princes. Yes, wow. yes, yes. I mean, they got no change in their pocket. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That you ain't gotta go, you ain't gotta go, you ain't gotta go Dutch when you're American. Yes. When you come with a right petition before God and before his people, though, heaven will notice on your behalf. Heaven will move on your behalf. Heaven will function on your behalf. As a matter of fact, the petition is so powerful. This is how powerful a petition is in the natural realm. One woman with one petition changed the whole school system. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. I got prayer right. That's right. That's right. And watch this. What that woman did, we ain't got back yet. Right. I wonder if there's a woman that's coming with the right kind of petition. He's helping us. Now, 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 the other side of this thing is, I know you're cute, but your character got to be there. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. I know you know how to do seduction and manipulation, but this ain't going to work that. Yes. This ain't going to work that. Yes. In fact, you'd be frustrated. Why is it ain't working? Because it ain't. It's flesh. Yes. It ain't going to work. It's not going to be the eye rolling, that's flexing, finger waving, teeth sucking, hip holding. That ain't going to get you your inheritance. Yes. These chicks didn't come back. They can't negotiate. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Come on. Uh, you would like to speak with you, <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes, you. Could you bring everybody down to the table? Sit down there, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing like a woman with some wisdom and some revelation. Oh, yeah. They know how to function in the kingdom, outside the kingdom, to bring order to a structure, sit down, and do business in a purpose and process. Yeah. She a bad chick. You a bad chick now. So, so, so they sat down, started talking. They started talking to him and started sharing with him. They asked, hey, man, when you ask, yeah. ask big. They didn't ask for change. They asked for an inheritance. Yes, right. Yes, That's right. Come on. They didn't ask small. They was asking for something major. They said, we want all of it. All right. <laughs> wow. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Down in bad, but it helps me understand that even in that process of making that petition, that all throughout scripture you'll see people over and over and over again make these incredible petitions before God and when they make them heaven moves on their behalf because they see their heart, their honor, their order, and their character in the idea of how they ask and when they ask. It's not just what you ask, it's the way you ask. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. 
one old woman that petition changed everything. You see how I deal with growth in the life and everybody goes in all of those things. One of the person you'll find, I write this down, First Samuel chapter 117. This is what the Bible says, and this lady in the church, and this is how the priest saw her. He says, Eli said to her, go in and have peace. The God of Israel will grant you your petition that you asked him, and, and asking, seeing that you've seen nothing, but you begin to worship. You can remember when, 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 when she said, when, when, when Hannah had, Hannah had a, a, a Sam. But before she has Sam, she's praying about something that she doesn't have. Yeah. The Bible says she makes petition, but in her petition, the Bible says she didn't make it like she was cute. Right, right, right. The reason I know that she made it because she was cute because she they thought she was drunk. Right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. See, sometimes you, you ain't you don't want it bad enough. Come on. And sometimes, you know what, I, I, I don't want nobody to think I'm, I want it that bad. That's right. So you don't get it. That's good. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. And sometimes we're so consumed with people that, that watch this, we can't even get to the place that we can get to our inheritance. Do you remember the lady that came to, came to Jesus and said, look at here, Jesus, I got a daughter, she's sick, you know what I mean, I need some healing. He said, can I give, I don't, who am I to give this bread that's for Israel to a dog? She said, look at here, ain't trying to trip if you need me to be a dog, bro, all right, come on. Look, 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 look at me. I'm here for the healing for my poor. Don't really care about nobody around me. How you feel about me? How you looking at me? Because listen, nobody around me can give me healing. Nobody else can give me my child. Who is really in about them? This is about my petition being in the right place. And God does this. He jumps generations and says, girl, go ahead and get it. I can't answer it. Judge. And the judge says he don't know God, didn't even like God. And because this chick just kept coming, yeah. give me, give me this, I need this, I need this, I need this. He said, she done wore me down. Yeah. But even though I don't even like her, yeah. her petition is going to make me do something for her. Yeah. Have you ever prayed to God for something that didn't happen and you just stood, well, I'm going to stay here till something happens? Yeah. Something got to happen to God. That's these kind of chicks. I don't care what the culture said. I don't care what the brother said. This is my position, and I believe it, that watch this, what my father has for me, the daughter in me can have in my life, for my life, for the right of my life. Hallelujah! Somebody shout hallelujah one time. Hallelujah! Lord! Take your name. Take this one more time. Go ahead and get your inheritance. He says, he says, down over there, but my world house over and over and over. Even Esther, when she shows up in the eye of the kingdom, he walks, she slides in one day right before him. He says, he sees her, he knows, hey, whoo, girl, what you want? I ain't say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> girl, whatever you want of the half of my kingdom, you can have. Yeah. Because she maintained order. And, uh, yeah. Can I make a flip real quick? Because I want you to understand how she got it. That was the moment, but she had watched it submitted in the process. Yes. Amen. Yeah, right. Yeah. I want you to get your hair, but you might have to deal with a Mordecai first. Yeah. Uh -huh. God might give somebody for your life that you gotta receive for your life, even yeah. if it wasn't in your life. Yeah. Yes. Come on. See, see, and see, sometimes every man ain't trying to hurt you. He might be trying to help you. your future on your life that you don't even see yourself. They try to lay down with you, girl. I'm trying to help you get your own life, get your own family, get your own destiny. I want you to get your own inheritance. So, so, so not only Mordecai, every now and then though, Mordecai will turn you over to another chick. And you want to learn how to submit to another chick. Yeah. 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 I know this is good. Come on. Yeah. Sometimes God's going to give you a mentor with a name her. Come on. Miss her, you gonna miss the kingdom. Yeah. Oh, you a preacher right now, Pastor? And so watch this. He makes her go to Mordecai. Mordecai turns her over to the to the trainer. The trainer, she takes her and dips her in oil and perfume, bathes her in that. Why? Wow, I'm getting you ready for your moment so you can get you an heiress. But if you mess this moment up, you can't have your heiress. And you're so mad about well, who she thinks she is. She thinks she's the one trying to give you your destiny. But if you Trying to tell me I smell bad? No, no, no. She's trying to give you something better than what you got, and it's giving you some exposure to places you've never been. You don't know what you don't know what the king like. You don't know how the king is moved. You don't know how to touch the king's heart. You don't know how to move him off his seat. You don't know how to open his mind and open his spirit. I'm gonna teach you, girl, how to touch the king's heart. God, I wish I was here today. All right, anyway. You gotta make a 
and receive a little sister. And she might be on your job, and she might be called mother, and she might be called aunt, and she might be called friend. And you got to realize that she might be the key to your inheritance. That's right. Can you just give the Lord a good shout right here? Because ain't no tripping like sisters tripping on each other. I'm just tripping because she got a curl. She got, I got four inch heels, she got six inch. Come on, baby God. Didn't know that she was sent for your life, but you missed it because of her shoes. Crazy stuff. Say, help, Jesus! Thank you, man. Hear me, hear me, hear me. Don't let your emotions and frustrations and opinions miss you. Make me miss your mission. Why? Wow, their daddy just died. But their emotions. Their opinions, yes. their frustration, mm -hmm. they don't make a mistake. Yes. Stop letting people take you out of purpose. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. that's good. That's good. My Bible says, Psalm 37 and 11 says this way, but the meek, not the loud mouth, not talking, not all that kind of thing, not, not, the meek shall inherit the earth. Yes, sir. And they delight themselves in the abundance of peace. Yes, sir. It's more important in this season of my world that I have peace than anything else. Yes, sir. Come on, to yours too, yours too, yours too, yours too, because the way tell them, yours too, stop playing. Yours too. To yours too. Amen. Um, let's go, let's go, Bert. So this, this, he goes on this, not only when we the right purpose, for purpose petition, but it also goes ahead in the wilderness of the company that followed. It says that they gave themselves to the Lord by the company and the women that worked with this petition. Numbers 27, 4 says, and watch the name of our father be gone away of his family. Then Samuel says, go down to verse 1, Eli, go ahead and with me. He says this, go ahead and listen. It says, say, 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 women Amen. that have God given permission. First, it's going to be that you're going to have to come with a petition that's right, that you come from a right place, that you set yourself in it by order and honor and by favor, that you learn how to walk with somebody that can mentor you to those places and walk through those processes in your own world. Then, secondly, is this is that you're going to have to know when you get there, God's already working on your behalf. Yes. How you know? When they show up, God, the Lord says this, He bought their cause before the Lord. Yeah. And it don't even sound like it went too long. That's right. <laughs> The next, verse, the, next, the next scripture says, it says, Moses brought their calls to the Lord, and the Lord started talking before Moses could say too much. Yeah. And this is what he said. The daughter of the Lord, yeah. they speaking right. Yeah. That's right. Mama. You shall surely give them the possession of the inheritance among their father's brother. I like that part. Say, excuse me. Yeah. You give permission, yeah. permission. To, have to have among them. Some of you think that I'm, when I get to this destiny place, I'm going to have it. There's some stuff God going to give you on your way. Amen. Amen. I should have said, I'm going to say among them. Uh -huh. I'm thinking that 20 years from now, God said, no, 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 no. Five years from now, four years from now, three, it might be tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? I need you to have it among them so they can see that I gave you permission. Hey. And some stuff, what you don't have income for, permission to make more money than your... That's right. There's a permission in God that is worth more than anything else on the planet. Yes. But if he says yes, can't nobody stop it. Can't nobody hinder it. Yes. Can't nobody block it. I don't care what, look, these sisters are saying, we don't care what culture order says at all. Yes. What we know is this, we got permission from the God the Father, and he's given it among us. Say, excuse me, don't be tripping. I got permission, I got permission. I got permission to look good. I got permission to be here. He says, I'm going to give it to you among them. You shall surely give them possession and inheritance among their father's brethren. And you shall cause the inheritance of their father to pass to them. Yeah. And you shall speak to the children of Israel, saying, if a man dies, he starts putting his board thing together. Don't you ever skip a sister no more. Don't you ever skip it. That if you ever have a man that ever has a door, you bless that door no matter what. You bless that door. You bless that woman. You honor that woman. You favor that woman. Yes, yes, yes. 
Somebody say, baby. I hope you get something today. I hope you get something today. Say, girl. Go ahead and get your hair. Tripping because you sing. Mm. And you forgot we born and sinship in the Yes, sir. As soon as you sing, you, you, we can't hear you, can't find you for church no more. <laughs> Can we give you permission to be human? Uh, uh. All of us, at least one or two times a week. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I say, say how many of you can be. Stop <laughs> acting like we all perfect. Ain't nobody oh, perfect yeah. up at the end. Say permission. permission. Sometimes God gives you permission to move on. Come on. Yeah. I'm not talking about move my marriage. 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 I'm not talking Sometimes we scared to show up in a fight. Every Christian life, last time I checked, the only way they got their inheritance was to fight all the enemies that was in the territory. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The only people think that we just want to be blessed yeah. and not have to fight for them. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's okay, that my theology right there. I'm sorry, Pastor, all right? It's Come truth on. no matter what, so I'm going to have to deal with that. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you got to be willing to go along. Yes, sir. You don't need permission to grow. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. for somebody tell you you know what you grow. You know you grow because you ain't saying what you used to say. You know you grow because you're a lot more patient than what you used to be. Come on, you know you grow. You got change left this week. You know you grow because you got mad but you ain't cussing nobody. I know. Come on, you want? Come on. They still got a car. They still got a phone. Yeah. You know you grow. Yeah. They still got a key to the house. You know what I mean? You know you grow. Move on past the All right, I am. I am. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But they had permission from God. I asked. I have. Permission from God to have dominion. Now, let me help you with this. Even though you have permission, you need a leader, you need a sponsor that's sometimes. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. See, Moses was their sponsor, their leader, and he was the him. Eliezer and them, they was the helpers. And if you ain't got a mentor, you probably ain't got a future. Yeah. My mind. That's mm. true. Because if you're in your life, you only stuck in your mind. You only stuck in yours. That's right. Come on. Amen. Come on, Pastor Dave. I'm already there. You got to come on with me. Praise God. Come on. Stuck. I do not want to name your name to be Chuck. <laughs> Say your name. Get your inheritance. He says here, see what, what I love about inheritance and what I love about the idea of permission is permission will give you access and entrance in places that you don't have a concept for. Yeah. Let me do this way. Twice this week it happened to me in crazy ways. One of it, it happened, it happened last Friday to Sunday. Mr. Lynn. I don't own a 529 acre of Melton, right. but I did last weekend. All right. yeah. And I didn't have to pay for it. Shut up. See, permission will open up doors and rails for you that you can't even get in on your own. So when he look, we drove up, it's so powerful right now that what's to say permission? permission? Here's the scary part. Permission is given in somebody's words. Yes. I didn't get to see the man that owns the mountain. This uh. time. He just gave me. Awesome. So for three days, I lived on 529 acres on, of yeah. permission. Yeah. 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 A go-kart crash. 
ton of rice in there. Two houses that hold about 4, 17, 18, 19 people apiece. Less, less. Lick out the back. Yes, Lord. Swimming his way to pool over the rocks. Lord, first. Me and the men just had Condition, but inheritance is a choice. Yeah. 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 Don't forget it. Don't, don't you forget it. Don't wow. you forget it. I love you, but that don't mean you get it. Praise God. That's a choice. That's right. That's right. Are you hearing me? So don't think just because you're saved, you just automatically get it. Uh-oh. Come on now. Ooh, I can help you be jacked up. <laughs> He was doing so good all the way up to the band, right? Uh, uh, I was loving my head. Something is all right. <laughs> look, look at this permission that he was given. The Bible says in the back of in Joshua chapter 17, it says, and they came near Eliezer and the priest before Joshua, the son of Nun, before the princes of the Lord. The Lord commanded Moses, said that, give us the inheritance of our brother. Therefore, according to the commandment, the Lord gave them the inheritance. The Lord, not even Moses, the Lord. Some, some stuff you get don't even come from man. Come on. See, there's a permission that comes from man, but there's a permission that comes from heaven that's like, blow your mind. You can't figure out how we get here, how this happens, what happens. You can just give a permission at that moment, Dad. The Bible was going to say, he says, and the Lord gave them their inheritance among their brother, and it fell in the ten portions, say ten. Yes. Ten is the number for dominion. Yes. So he My gave God. them dominion. He gave five women dominion. Yes. My God. My God. Going on. He says, beside the land of Galilee of Hashan, here's a pack up picture in the idea of how he does this with women. All throughout the Old Testament, are blessing women, even before the New Testament. Job chapter 42. You remember when Job's captivity was turned? Yeah. And Job was blessed out his socks? Yeah. Yeah. So was his children. Yeah. 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 But I said, well, so was his children. Yeah. How you know? In all the land, there were no women that was fine or fair as Job's daughter. Yeah. They were fly to the spoon. They were put on to him. But their father gave them what? Yeah. Who gave it to them? Yeah. But nobody died. Yeah. Some stuff you get just for preference. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. See, I want some stuff before I close my eyes. I'm not I'm not I, I, I don't want to be pushing up no days to see glory. No, I want to see glory before I know the glory. Praise God. I want to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Come on, I want to see it now. I want to see the abundant life in the present. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. So it was for his daughters. He says, watch this. He gave them the inheritance of their among their brethren. After that, Job lived after that another 140 Ooh. years. He saw all his God. sons. Watch this. And his sons' sons and his sons to the fourth generation. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's awesome. You know, you, you got some major cheese. Yeah. You look in three, four generations yes. down. You That's all. Yeah. yeah. Say, girl, yeah. go ahead and get your hair. Go ahead and get your hair. Oh, go ahead, brother. Oh, by the way, I forgot to say this. Say, you, you have, have permission. Permission. Permission is great. You have permission of a smile, permission of a look, to permission of a look. To mission of life, to mission of walk out of life that will give God glory and honor that will give you an abundant in your life. Say, I have permission. I have permission. And it's already granted. It's already granted. Now, what you don't have permission to do is disrespect yourself. You don't have permission to disrespect yourself. Stop treating yourself less than yourself. Stop, matter of fact, stop treating yourself like somebody else. My God. Okay, step back, man. Step back. Step back. Nah, all right, guys. Yeah. Somebody reach out for you. <laughs> Can you give your permission to feel good? Yeah. Say that I did. I did. Myself. Myself. Permission. Permission. To feel good. To feel good. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. The last time you were I mean, I feel good. Amen. Some of you already said it for like 10 years. Because you haven't given yourself permission oh to say it. Yes. Yes. You're scared if something happened to you, you're like, oh, what's going to happen next? No, just, 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 just enjoy.
glory, the good for the day. Your eyes are working, your mouth is moving, your brain is functioning, you're walking to church, you got a little worship on, work in your spirit. Hey, this ain't You have permission right. to think that you are good enough. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You made in the image and likeness of God. Yes. Why wouldn't you think you're good enough? Yeah. Okay. Who told you you was? Oh, Lord. Yeah. Say, I have permission. I have permission. This is in John 14. As many as received Jesus, mm. I gave them permission yes. to be the oh, sons of God. Yeah. Yeah. I ask you how you feel about it. You don't care. Because now I have a mission from heaven yes, to become yes. the son of God. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. you can imagine yeah. that. I don't know if you can really handle that. I don't, you can even ask people how to feel, but I have been given permission yes. to look like God. Yes. 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 Okay, I'm going to be I didn't say it. Jesus said that. John 1 14. He said, As many as received me. Now, so that's only talking to those that received him. Since you received him, this is how your permission works. You haven't given permission to look like him, act like him, walk like him, talk. Be confusing folk that you are looking like the Son of God in the earth and you have heaven permission to function that way. That shot with me. I have, I have permission, permission, permission from heaven. From heaven. Look. Amen. Yes, Thank you, Lord. I sure hope you got that. If you got that, come on, bless the Lord. Come on, bless the Lord. He said, now listen, he said, now listen, if you got permission, that's cool, but you got to go on and pay the price to possess it. No matter how much he loves us, you know what? You still got a part to play yeah. in this process. That's right. In the meantime, you want God to do all the work. He's like, I did on Calvary. Now you still want me to come back and work again? Come on. So he says here, he says, and the Lord said to Moses, get up and go to the mountain, see the land which I've given you, the children of Israel, and when you have seen it, you will also be gathered to your people like Aaron was gathered to the people. Come on. Can I, can I, can I trip you up with something? Yeah. As bad as Moses was, he never got his inheritance. Mm. Yeah. Oh, shoot. You know it's a crazy thing to lead people to an inheritance that you won't get into yourself? Yeah. The devil is a liar. Some of your pastors, I'm trying to tell you. Yes. It's a lot of inheritance. Get your yes. We don't get a ticket. We yes. get this together. Right? Yes. I ain't tripping like Moses. I ain't tripping. You know what made Moses trip? He focused on people. Yes. Text says it says he for he rebelled. You Moses rebelled against my command in the desert of sin. When you had strike them on the congregation, sanctify me with water before their eyes and this thing. So now guess what? He gets a picture of his inheritance, but he can't take it with him. Oh I would be so mad. Yeah. I'm like, well, Lord, I don't even want to see. Can I ask you something? Are you that man? Jesus. Because all you will settle for is a picture of your inheritance. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> you know what you should be rolling in, looking like, walking like. Yes. And you good with that, but you ain't climbing the mountain. My God. Well, Jesus. I, I, I don't want to do all that. I don't, I don't want to watch this because the, the greatest government is self-government. Yeah. So Moses loses a sign because he didn't govern himself. Yes. He defeated all kinds of enemies. Saw fire fall. Opened up rivers and all that. But what messed up inheritance was Moses. Oh, Lord Jesus. I know it's supposed to be you know, like a happy thing, like yeah. you know what I'm yeah. But that ain't the way they ended it, so I can't read the scripture series, so get mad at me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's scary is? A, a father lost doors and they got further. But their leader died because he couldn't govern himself. My God. My God. Well, he was a woman to pay the whole price. Sometimes that means governing your life in the midst of it. For all of us, you gotta do it, no matter who you are. I love God, I honor God. God has the inheritance, but you gotta be to meet the inheritance of your life. That means you gotta govern you till your inheritance breaks forth. Yes. Yes. You gotta have patience with this thing. You can't be, because even Jesus had to do it. Don't act like that. Come on, I think sometimes when Jesus jumped out the wagon and was praying inside the temple, and Mary was like, stop tripping. Mm. You better get in this car. 
Because you're about to miss your inheritance. You know what Jesus does? Get in the car. Because he ain't missing his inheritance. You playing. You, you think, oh, this is 24. No, Jesus said, do the same thing. I'd be willing to pay the price of I can't have this moment because I'll be my assignment. Yes. Yeah. Why? In the garden. Who? Did he get you? Did he get Not my will. Not my will. Not my will. I, could, could, you, could you let this thing go past? No. Mm. Yes. All right, I will be done. Yes. What is he doing? I'm going to possess it. Yes. And sometimes you got to move beyond your own opinions and My emotions God. to make the vision for your life. You're going to get your inheritance. You're going to have to get past some people, some stuff, some processes, some hurts, some offenses, some wounds, some unforgiveness, some bitterness. Some... Oh, come on, come on. Opinions and passions mess you up. You ain't gonna make it. Yeah. Right. Then when you get to heaven, you'll be mad. You're like, you're like, I had all this inheritance to you, right? But you ain't make it. Yeah. And it wasn't God's fault. Amen. My God. Wow. So when Moses had to come for God, come on. he's gonna do I know you can see it, but you ain't gonna live it. Yeah. I wanna live in everything yes. you show us. Yes. 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 What I love about this text is the one thing that plays, because God sometimes plays on words a lot. And it's scary how he plays on words sometimes, Rusty. Because the man, Zohode, his name means firstborn. Yes. The Bible says, Jesus is the firstborn among many brothers. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I was teaching the New Testament inheritance from an Old Testament concept. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have them watch this. The, 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 the firstborn die, but the children going to get the grace. Yes. Amen. 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 So we get our inheritance because the firstborn died. Yes. Come on. He's the firstborn among many brethren. Yes. Come on. Then now, we're not. See, see, and here's the scary part. See, when the first child gets the inheritance, they get double. Yeah. So when he died, the next child gets the dough yeah. that the firstborn should have got. My God. My God. My God. I'm going to see if you catch me one more time. So if the father has a son that dies, and the son now is gone, and now you are the sons and daughters. Yeah! My God. My God. My God. My God. Yeah. Hallelujah. So whatever you thought you were supposed to have, God is probably expecting at least double. Come on, Sandy, you know what you're talking about. Jesus. Thank you. All the day. I thank you for being here.